Well, we saw widespread uh, light to at times moderate snow last night that coated the ground in many areas. Most of the heavier amounts were kind of concentrated right along the I-35 corridor in the lee of the lakes with that lake effect snow anywhere from a half inch to about an inch and a half. We measured an inch and a half officially at DFW Airport. Outside of that, snow was generally less than a half an inch and in far eastern and southeastern portions of the area. It was a wintry mix with uh, overall less than a half inch. This is a good example of what happens as Arctic air blows across the relatively warmer lakes. Those lake waters were averaging around 50 to the lower 50s. The air itself only about 10 degrees. That's Lake Whitney. That photo courtesy of Pam Gober. And you can see the steam rising off the lake surface itself. Here's what goes on. And this is obviously far more common in the Great Lakes. You get this in Cleveland and Buffalo and Erie, Pennsylvania. But we had these strong Arctic winds uh, blowing out of the north a good uh, 20 to 25 miles an hour over the lakes. And as that occurs, uh, well, warmth and moisture from the lake surface itself is transferred to the air directly above it. And uh, that air rises very readily into the Arctic air above it and it condenses. And what happens is that just downwind from the lakes, you get these narrow snow bands that develop and then they are pushed southward by those strong northerly winds. And I think many of our lakes got into the action last night. The longer the fetch uh, that you have of wind over water, the more likely you are to see uh, some of these snow bands develop. And that's why especially many of the north south oriented lakes with these northerly winds uh, produced the more impressive snow bands. There's a look outside Fox 4 views. A lot of sunshine. Boy, it had its work cut out today, though. Temperatures never made it to freezing. They stayed in the 20s all afternoon long. 24 McKinney, 25 Cleburne. It's 23 right now in Fort Worth. You factor in the wind, and wind chills are in the upper single digits to the lower teens across the area. And they will be driven down this evening and overnight tonight as winds once again pick up at the north 15 to at times 25 miles an hour. So that's going to produce wind chills down close to zero later this evening. And at times we will see those wind chills dip below zero overnight. Here's temperature cast. The record low at DFW tomorrow morning is 11 degrees. I think we've got a good chance of uh, tying it or perhaps breaking it. And there will be single digits especially to our north and west. Fell below freezing Saturday evening. We are obviously still below the freezing mark and more than likely won't rise above until about 10 a.m. on Wednesday. So 88 consecutive hours below freezing is what we're forecasting. Can see some clouds starting to gather to our north and west. So the clouds push our way later on tonight. Uh, we could squeeze out a few lake effect snow flurries. Again, not a repeat of last night. These will be highly localized, uh, mainly downstream from some of the lakes. The big story is the cold and the winds driving those wind chills down around 11 at 7 o'clock tomorrow morning, 20 around noontime, plenty of sun in the afternoon. But despite that, only 28 for a high. Here's the good news. We do warm it up with southerly winds Wednesday to 45. 53 Thursday, another front though arrives Thursday afternoon with very chilly weather, not as cold as now, but quite chilly Friday and Saturday. And then rain chances, not wintry weather, come our way, especially Sunday night into Monday of next week.